Hello, my Sag and Sag Rising friends. Sandra from Four Year Chi here to do today to do your monthly tarot and oracle card reading for November 2023. If you are a November born Sag, happy birthday to you. I hope you have a spectacular one. Okay, let's get right into this reading. One second, I just realized I needed something. I just realized I had to I had to pull from the Morgan Greer to get your zodiac signs of who's around you in your seventh house before we move on. Okay. So your first house where you're at now, discontent and boredom. You are tired of the way things that you're that are going in the first couple of days of November and you are ready for a change. The good news is you don't need to worry. Hopefully you're not worried at the beginning of November, but if you are, they're telling you don't worry. Now they're saying don't worry, but there's a bummer in your second house of your possessions and finances. Now, this could be like, you know, globally related where your 401k is dropping or uh, something that you needed to buy is more expensive than what you had in mind. I've been talking to so many people lately about how expensive property is and houses and interest rates and mortgages and mortgage insurance on top of that and taxes. I mean, I get it. So, you know, it could be something like that. This could also be an unexpected expense that you weren't planning for. This could be a disappointment that someone promised you money or someone promised to pay you back um, and they did not do that yet. Now, there are a couple things that you can do about this. Number one, the advice card. Ask your angels for help. But number two, some of this could be prevented if this is a future event that I'm talking about as you listen to this reading, what do I mean by that? Well, start saying your money affirmations. Money, big money flows freely and easily to me. You could help circumvent this from happening. Uh, the other thing is, I wouldn't loan anyone anything that you can't afford to lose. Don't loan out any money right now if you don't want to lose it. Don't loan anyone your prized possessions, especially your car. It could come back wrecked. And here you are, a sad Sagittarius crying about it. Sagittarians do not like it when other people cry. It's like a, I always say this, it's like fingernails on the chalkboard, especially if it's your child. But it doesn't necessarily have to be. It can just be anyone that you love. You're, if they're cr crying, you are scrambling, and you love them, you are scrambling trying to fix their crying because you just want to fix it. You're a fixer. And I understand that. Um, and I sympathize with that because I see it. I live with a Sagittarius on steroids. Many of you know this. So I can, I can testify to this firsthand. Your third house. So that's why I'm saying, okay, money affirmations. Don't loan anybody anything that you can't afford to lose. Let me know what happens. Hopefully it's nothing and you can tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> because Sagittarians love to tell me I'm wrong. It's a joke, but not really. Okay. Your third house, brother or sister, firm foundations. They've laid the groundwork for what they're going to do next. Oh, and they have improving health, so that's good. They're turning the corner health-wise there. Your fourth house, house of home, where you currently live. Wait a minute. Did I see this? brother? This is brother or sister. Fourth house, where you currently live. You have hope that things are going to turn around in your fortune, in your favor. What do you need to do? Let go of your feelings regarding this or your expectations. I know it's hard, but I feel like this is a 
moment of detaching yourself from the outcome because that is the key to manifestation. Sandra, how do I do that? The easiest way is to call an Archangel Michael to cut the cords between you and this outcome that you have expected, okay? Your fifth house, socialization, fun, friends, single life for those of you dating. Whoa, who's this? The alpha. The alpha shows up on the scene, Sagittarius. Is this on the dating scene? Or is this in your friendship circle? Now, let me just look at this. Okay. For some of you, the alpha could be a rude awakening. For example, you're out have painting the town, having a good time with your best friend. And all of a sudden, this asshole shows up. Doesn't have to be uh, male, by the way. Alpha could be female, too. But for the majority of you, I think it's going to be a male. Alpha shows up on the scene and tries to hit on you or hit on you for your friend or take your friend home or something. And you are not having it. No, ma'am. No, sir. And so you are going to let this alpha know where you stand with him or her. Okay. And so should you. And so shall it be. Your sixth house. Work and health. Sacral chakra. Okay. This is the want, the desire. Heavy desire here. Now, this could be a heavy desire for a health situation, outcome, resolve, fix, cure. This could also be a heavy desire regarding work or a promotion or a job or a certain job. Now, this could, for most of you, involve health because you did pull recovery here. This could be a... Um, health ailment or you could be recovering or attempting to recover from you know a slip and fall some sort of accident or some sort of procedure um, I would start saying protection morning noon and night on yourself your physical body your body parts House, property, and vehicles, workplaces, and spaces, just in case, morning and night, okay? For others of you, this could be totally related to a sacral chakra problem in that it's blocked. How do, how do you get it unblocked, Sandra? Well, you take a sea salt bath if you can. Non-iodized sea salt, pour the whole pound of sea salt in the bath. It's like three or four dollars at the grocery store. Now if you, some of you, can, if you can, if you can't do that, some people can't physically take a bath for one of her, you know, different reasons. If you can't take a bath, um, you can do one of those YouTube meditations that clears out the chakra make sure you stay super focused on the sacral chakra part of it. And if anyone can clear out a chakra, it's a Sagittarius. I mean, all you have to do is close your eyes and you know what I mean. You just zone right in and you go right to the problem and clear it out. Visualize the white light, the, the most brightest white holies of light that you possibly can. And it's clearing out that sacral chakra that is orange in color. Where's your sacral chakra at? It's right below your belly button. Okay? So some of you, again, may we may be avoiding something here. I'm going to get my husband a sea salt bath as soon as possible. Might even be tonight. He has no idea what he's in for. But that's every day here, by the way. Okay, let's see who's around your seventh house before we go into the extended reading. Oh, we have the seven of rods here. So that's another fire sign, another Aries, Leo, or Sag. Oh, and then we have the air sign. So I always say the stalker, Aquarius, 
Libra or a Gemini double stalker Aquarius because we pulled the star card. Okay, so just, you know, another day in paradise here. Um, if you want to follow me in the extended, link is going to be below. Also, I'll have the booking link for those of you that want to book a session. You can view my calendar and book at the same time. Um, anyway, extended reading is on Patreon. Link is below. We're going to be going over your 7th house of primary relationships, including romance angel cards, your 8th house of taxes, contracts, intimacy, the source of your significant other's income. Looks amazing. That pertains to you. Your ninth house of school and travel, your 10th house of career and your mother, your 11th house of your child or your best friend, if you don't have children. Your 12th house, what's about to happen three months from now in the future. Many blessings to all of you. Take care. Happy birthday.